Hey hi rise my name is Donny Pie. I make hi rise content and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to how to because knowing how to is how you how to or something like that <laughs> so here are 10 plus ways oh no no here are plus 10 high rise life hacks tips and tricks for your life in the virtual metaverse so what's a life hack a life hack is anything that can make your daily life easier so let's get started, shall we? Pretty featured room images. Want this? It's a clickable image that allows you to travel to a room. And if you want to prettyfy it, follow these steps. First, travel to the room you want to invite people to. Then, take a pic of the room by tapping the little camera icon. Tap post at the bottom left. You'll see a plus symbol. Tap this plus symbol to add a pretty image you've edited, inviting players to join your room. I use Photoshop to edit my images. Now simply delete the original image you took and share. Now you have a pretty thumbnail for all the strangers who might potentially visit you. Strangers visit me all the time. One time, a stranger on high rise told me they were vegan, but I swear, I've met her before. Try on items by clicking on a post. Did you know you can make posts like this where it's clickable and high rise users can try on whichever item you're marketing or selling? This is useful for people who prefer to have a preview before buying. Step one. Go to your profile and edit your avatar. Put on the item you'd like to sell. Once you're satisfied with your outfit, tap the camera icon. Then take the pic and tap post. You can also add your own featured image. Just upload it, then delete the original outfit and publish the post. Now people can tap your outfit and try on all the items you're wearing in that post. This helps when trying to market a specific item rather than showing an entire outfit. It's convenient and useful, just like my pillow. I'm sleepy. Good night. Want to know if someone's following you? Let's say you're popular. You have thousands of followers and you don't want to scroll through your entire follower list because who has time for that? I don't. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, rather than scrolling through your follow list, just do this. So first, go to their profile, then follow them. If it says friends, then they follow you. If it says following, then they don't follow you. No, if you follow them, then they'll get a notification saying you followed them. So it will totally blow your cover if you're trying to stalk. Uh, suggestion? Hi Rise, can you include a little notification on profile saying if a person follows you? Just like Twitter, and that's not a bot, Elon. Take transparent images with no background. When I first started making high rise content, I didn't know you could take PNG images. What are PNG images? I'm glad you asked. PNG images don't have a background, so you can make aesthetic looking images for Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or whatever social media you prefer to upload to. I like turtles. I like turtles. All right, you're great zombie. First, go to your profile, then tap edit avatar, then tap the camera icon. Choose an animation, and then with the slider bar, you can choose a specific frame to capture. Once you're satisfied with your pose, simply take the photo and save. This is how I make all my video and image content. Check my vibe. And if anyone wants to watch Doctor Strange with me, I will need to decline because I have stranger things to watch. Make a group chat. Did you know you can make group chats on High Rise? It's convenient for starting drama with friends who you really don't want to be friends with anymore. Check it out. Tap your inbox and in the top right, tap the little pen and pad icon. Now add all the usernames of all the people you want to troll. Tap create. Then say something like, I know you're cheating on me with each other. There's no use in denying it. Then that's it. Now you have a group chat. Just sit back and wait for the drama to unfold. It's fun. See how much you've spent on high rise. This little trick is great for people who are obviously rich and have money to spend on high rise. Not me, of course, because I'm poor. I eat ramen every day and I can't shower because I can't afford water. <laughs> All the kids at school call me stinky and you should totally tip me because you feel bad for me and you're watching this video. <laughs> Thanks. So what you want to do first is tap on profile. Located at the top right of your screen, tap the three little dots. Then tap FAQ, that's Frequently Asked Questions. After that, tap the message bubble at the top right. Now simply send a message that says, how much money have I spent on high rise? After a while, you'll receive an estimate of all the money you've spent in game. 
Wow, look at how much money I spent. I could have bought actual clothes for that amount. But then again, that would require me to interact with people in real life. In real life is scary. Also, fun fact, Harai's made an estimated $30 million in one year. View recently visited rooms. Let's say you're like me, and High Rise randomly closes for you. Or better yet, you like to annoy the living crap out of people and they boot you from their room. And you're like, but I want to be friends. So you want to join them again to express your unwavering devotion by annoying them some more in an affectionate way, of course. Well, this is how you do it. Tap room, then tap rooms at the top left. Join a room you find interesting. Hmm, this looks like a good room. It's a voice room. Do you... Jotaro. Hey, yo, Johnny Five, that's weird, bro. Uh, that's nah, that's a bit. That's... Now let's say you magically disappear and you want to find the room again, but forgot the name. Tap back on rooms, tap the magnifying glass, and you will see a list of your most recently visited rooms. Just rejoin. High rise. Just a suggestion. When are we going to get an option to favorite or save rooms we love? Pretty please, we'd all love that very much. How to make a second floor. So you could either build a second floor using stairs, or you can create a second floor using a teleport item. I chose the ladder. Get it? Ladder? Because second floor? <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, go to your profile. Tap rooms. Now, create a room. Tap the edit icon. Add a block. Tap the directional icon until it's vertical. Simply drag the item up or down. Look mom, I just built a second floor on high rise. Are you proud of me? Now do you love me? It's a steakhouse on the second floor of a casino. The stakes have never been higher. The two in one hair glitch. This little glitch is good if you wanna have two different hair colors because you know, fashion and stuff and I'm gay. But don't tell Mary Pie because she still thinks I'm straight. Just kidding, <laughs> she knows. And we're still dating. Now, before we begin, you have to have one saved outfit slot open. Tap profile, then tap edit avatar. Tap on your hair and choose the front hairstyle you want. Make note of the hair you chose because we'll be adding this front hairstyle to a trade later. Next, choose the back hairstyle you want and change the color you'd like. This color will be the back hairstyle color. Now, tap the hanger and save your outfit. Then click X. Make sure you click X and do not wear the hair items. Now we're going to start a trade with a friend. Add the front hairstyle to your trade. What this does is take the hair out of your inventory. Once that's done, let's go back to your profile, tap edit avatar, and change your front hairstyle and color you want your front to be. Once you're satisfied, Put on the outfit we saved earlier. You'll see your hair is duotone. You can now change your hair freely, front and back. Just don't change the color, otherwise your entire hair will change color. You'll need to repeat the steps if you want to keep your duotone hairstyle. This glitch works because the hair you traded is no longer in your inventory, but the game still saves the color it last was. Cool, huh? How to get naked. Now, I'm going to show you how to get naked on high rise so you can make virtual babies. <laughs> Just kidding. You probably already know how to do that. No, but dead butt. This glitch was patched by High Rise for obvious reasons. Them pixels. Them pixels. Make a VIP section for your room. VIP sections are good for a variety of reasons. You can encourage players to tip you gold to grant them access to an exclusive part of your room. Or use VIP sections for voice streams. The possibilities are endless. Here's how to do it. One, make a room. Make a VIP section that's inaccessible. Two, 
Two, go to the store, go to extras, buy a blue teleporter for 20 bubbles, and buy a red teleporter for 20 bubbles. Three, place the teleporter in the VIP section of your room. Four, place the other teleporter in one of your private rooms or crew only rooms. Five, select the teleporter and change the destination of that of the VIP room. Six, save. Now, whenever you tap the teleporter, it will transport you to the VIP room. It's cool, huh? Now you can have the exclusivity from the other lesser high risers who obviously are beneath you. Sure, having a VIP room doesn't make you an elitist because you're far better than that. Just ask anyone who matters, like me. <laughs> well, that's it for the life hacks. I hope you enjoyed them. Did I miss any? Leave a comment below if you have any life hacks that I might have left out. These tips and tricks should help you on your pixelated journey toward becoming well respected among anonymous strangers online. It's helped me a ton. <laughs> Just kidding. I still get cyber bullied. Just remember, next time a stranger talks to you when you're alone, just stare at them shocked and whisper quietly, you can see me? As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps motivate me to continue making HR content and add me on high rise. I mean, you like touch it or something if you want. <laughs> <laughs> the butt. <laughs> Do the fart ones while you're going up. <laughs>